It's news time. Information is power. The current, the news headline. One major reason why Joe Iboku reacted to high public test sit at home order in the southeast. Since the arrest and subsequent arraignment of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazen Amdekan, sit at home orders have become a common occurrence in the different states that make up the southeastern region of Nigeria. IPOP had instituted the unlawful ban as a way of protesting against the arrest and continued detention of their leader, who was once a fugitive of the long arm of the law. Despite warnings from various pan Igbo groups and prominent elders that such a move would affect the region negatively, the proscribed group insisted on having its ways, sometimes resulting to some violence to ensure compliance amongst others. One of the many Igbo politicians who has continued to condemn the seat at home order is none other the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on drainage and uh, water resources, Chief Joe Ibukwe. In fact, the All Progressive Congress, APC Chieftain, has spoken against the activities of the group, warning that their actions would be detrimental to the well being and progress of the Igbo people. Though his comments have often earned him derogatory remarks and insults from his kinsmen, even leading to his home in any way being vandalized, the activities of the IPOB and its military, uh, military wing, militant wing, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, has actually been one of the very highest that Joe Igbokwe has actually been condemning. It was therefore not surprising to Mr. Igbokwe reacting to the recent sit at home order that was reportedly enforced by the proscribed group. The politician took to his Facebook page to condemn the act, wondering how the region keeps allowing such an act to become a normal thing. He condemned the fact that people's properties were being destroyed for just cause uh, for just cause, and wondered if IPOP really is what they claim to be. Due to the incessant killings and attacks by bandits, including other terrorists in the north, a group of northern youth under the umbrella of CNNG concerned northern Nigerian groups, embarked on a protest 11th of December 2021 within the northern, northern, northern region. The protesters demanded an immediate end to the killings and destruction of properties that is happening in the region. One of the biggest protests that happened in 2021 is the NSAS Memorial Protest that took place in various states in Nigeria, especially within Lagos states. The protest was conducted to mark the first anniversary of NSAS movement, and the protest happened at Unity Fountain in Abuja, and many protesters gathered with big banners carrying different inscriptions. In Lagos State, celebrities and activists joined a car procession within the protest environment at Lekito Gate, and on the 4th of June 2021, thousands of Igbo youth went to the streets of Uweri in a peaceful protest against the insecurity challenges that have ravaged the state. The youth also protested against the people that are causing troubles and anarchy in the state it is important to know that protesters were led by Eric Nwakwe, the special advisor to the governor of Imo State on youth affairs. Members of IMN embarked on a protest on the 12th of June 2021 in Apo Gudu by police officers in the Federal Capital Territory chased them away. Miriam Yusuf, the command spokesman, spokeswoman, stated that the group and other protesters wanted to incite public disturbance and breach public peace. She also said that the police did not arrest any of the protesters and the protest that happened along Futsua Gusa Road in Katina State. Due to attacks carried out by bandits, angry protesters in Katina State blocked Futsua Gusa Road. The angry residents blocked the road after bandits killed about eight persons and kidnapped 17 women at Kanonaki Village in Faskari, local government area of Katina State. The protesters used the opportunity to ask the federal government led by President Muhammad Buhari to make more policies that will end the activities of this bandit. Protests by activists after the arrest of some people at the Dunamis Church in Abuja. Remember that some activists on the 18th of July 2021 protested at Massacre branch of Dunamis Church in Abuja and they were demanded for the release of five persons arrested near the church by DSS officers. A report disclosed that the five persons at the Dunamis uh, International Gospel Center in Abuja were allegedly arrested on the 4th 
of July for wearing uh, Buari Must Go branded t shirts. And these are the cogent eight massive protests that happened in the northern and southern parts of Nigeria, you know, with, within 2021, you know, that caused a whole lot of, uh, you know, cacophony and mayhem in the country. The protests, you know, which was, uh, uh, it was poured a whole lot of reactions within the country, you know, just like that of the Father Umbaka, who happens to be uh, a, a renowned prophet of God, you know, that prophesies, you know, most especially things that would happen within, uh, in, the, in the political affairs, you know, at a particular point in time, he was asked that why uh, does he, you know, meddle into political affairs, you know, by prophesying things about political, and he said that, you know, God, uh, you know, did not specify that this is the only thing uh, this is only it is a particular thing that you know must not be prophesied about or talked about uh, even politics is part of the things you know that affect the christian life and should you know be prophesied about and therefore you know when it got missing the 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 church members you know shook it up and uh, came out to protest a mass you know about his his disappearance thinking that you know the uh, uh Muhammad Buhari led regime, but that, but that have involvement in his appearance, and um, the DSS were were forced, you know, to make uh to make you know awareness, you know, to talk to them through their spokesman Peter Afunaya that uh, the Reverend Father was not in their custody, that is the custody of the DSS, and then um, before it was now later uh, known that it was a Catholic bishop, you know, that actually invited. Uh, Father E.G.K. Mbaka and also the Yoruba Nation protest led by Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Ad- uh, Igbogo for a re- an uh, Odidua Republic as well. We remember that it was really massive then as they were saying that they wanted to break away from, Niger- uh, from Nigeria to have their own nation before you know the DSS uh, invaded the house of the lead uh, you know the, the lead uh, person, which is Sunday Adiemo, you go, you know, to they went to to bust his house at about one a.m. and uh, you know he fled away from the country and has been at the uh, facility of the Benenois Palace and also the protest of the CNG, that is the Concerned Northern Nigerians group, who embarked you know to demand the end to in the mid end to the killings and destruction of the people in the region and also the NSAS protest among other and therefore also a peaceful protest you know that the youth came out to talk about the insecurity challenges that they are facing especially in Imo State. The uh, the Islamic movement of Nigeria did the same and also the activists that were arrested at the DS uh, by the DSS you know for wearing Buari must go to the Dunamis church. Thanks for listening.